When is the time to talk about it? After Sandy Hook, when 26 lives were took, the politicians shook their heads and said we shouldn't talk about it. Our nation grieved. They gave their prayers and sent their tweets, but they didn't want to talk about it. We can't politicize this, they said. 20 kids are dead. We have to lay them to rest before we talk about it. Like it was honoring their deaths more to once again ignore the very reasons, but we didn't want to talk about it. And you could take the rhetoric and switch the tragedy. I couldn't tell the difference, which is obvious insanity, but I was just as culpable for what I didn't do or say, because honestly, it hurt too much. I didn't want to talk about it. Well, now I want to talk about it. Private guns have killed more Americans since 1960 than all of our wars combined. Now, personally, that's a statistic that completely blows my mind. Or what about the number of our gun-related homicides? It's higher than any other developed country by 20 times. And that's not only crimes, because on the average, roughly 33,000 people every year lose their lives. If that was terrorism, we would lose our minds. If that's not terrorism, we have lost our f***ing minds. In fact, maybe terrorism should be redefined because mass shootings have become a sign of modern times. When do we draw the line? When do we grow a spine and stop using the Second Amendment to hide behind? You want to keep your guns, that's perfectly fine. I'm not arguing to take them away unless you're hunting lions. And yet the NRA accuses me of lying. Like secretly, I'm trying. That way they change the conversation from the people dying. It's really evil. I am tired of this misleading line they're feeding to the media. The talking points are really just excuses to be greedier. And Congress won't do their jobs because lobbyists have paid them off. So they ignore the problems that they're there to solve. Public service has a private interest when campaign contributions make them liable to the parties that contribute. It's a form of paying tribute, but the dollars make no sense. How can a background check be something that we're against? If the prevailing argument is it's about our mental health, then it's illogical to think that regulations wouldn't help. And while the left and right fight, both are dying in between. It's not the red, white, and blue. It's the red, white, and green. I can't take an open water bottle on a plane, but I can walk around Nevada with an AR-15. Can't you hear the children scream? Can't you hear the children scream? Can't you hear the children? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them scream? You're on the wrong side of history. There is no in-between. When you look back in 20 years, tell me who you want to be. Can't you hear the children? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them scream? It echoes through the halls of schools that were replaced by crime scenes. Can't you see the children? Can't you see them? Can't you see them bleed? Can't you see their parents seeing them in each and every dream? When the news vans have left and they're left with quiet streets and private grief, but they can't leave, they can't leave, they can't leave. So they count the seconds, minutes, hours, days, and nights and weeks dealing with a pain so deep that it's awake inside of sleep. It's in their bones and in their smiles and in their hair and in their speech and in the morning they remember tears streaming down their cheeks chest heaving from the morning it's impossible to breathe and at that point it doesn't matter what you once believed we have let a special interest hold us hostage over greed but it's in our hands so why are we the ones that have to freeze don't move anything don't say anything don't do anything. Don't change anything.